What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we're going to be doing a full face testing a bunch of brand new viral products that have been really, really hyped up. I feel like a lot of brands had to pull a lot of launches or push a lot of launches back when the world kind of went crazy in March and everything was going on. And so now I feel like there have been so many new launches, like every day there's like new stuff launching. So today we're going to focus more on like high end products. I do have a testing new drugstore products video coming very soon for you guys as well that will be testing a bunch of new drugstore products, but today is going to be more high end hyped up new products that I am really really excited about like some of these I'm super super stoked for and some of these I'm super skeptical about so I don't know we're, we're gonna really see today if these products are good and if they are worth your money so be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like when I test new products also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all my future uploads and without further ado let's go ahead and get started okay you guys so this first product that we are gonna test out I'll be honest I'm skeptical about it. Um, this is the new Becca Zero Pigment Foundation. So I say foundation in quotes because, I don't know, this product is very weird to me, but it's intriguing at the same time because I feel like people complain all the time that everything in the beauty industry is just always like the same thing over and over. You know, brands coming out with the same products, which I've never seen, at least in my experience, a zero pigment foundation. So this is basically supposed to be a foundation, but it, you know, has absolutely no pigment to it at all. I'm gonna take this off. Ooh, that's interesting. I thought it was gonna be like, this is like thick, like this is like not even a liquid. Like, you know, like nothing is coming out. This is like a thick kind of product. Hmm. So when I first saw this, I was kind of like, okay, there's no pigment to it. How is this supposed to like look, you know, do anything for my skin? I'm going to read to you guys the little like caption online as to what it's supposed to do. It says our zero pigment foundation is a new makeup and skincare hybrid to smooth and blur the appearance of skin while hydrating all day with a transparent matte finish. And it says it uses clear light blur technology, which is supposed to give the blurred appearance to your skin. It has hyaluronic acid and it's a silicone free formula. So I guess it probably has glycerin, I would assume. So I don't know about you guys, but when I read that, I was kind of like, okay, so it's a primer. Like it says it's going to blur and hydrate the skin, but that it doesn't have any pigment to it. So to me, that's a primer. Um, but Becca's marketing it as a foundation. So the way we're going to use it today is I'm going to apply it. So I'm going to apply it as the first thing. We're going to see how it looks on its own if you want to wear it as a foundation. But I am going to be using it as a primer more so because I do have a new foundation that I want to test out today. So, and I feel like there's no possible way this is going to give me enough coverage. You know, I don't know. So we're going to test it. It comes with this tiny little spatula thing. So it says to use the spatula to get a pea-sized amount. It's probably a little bit bigger than a pea, but whatever. Place it onto your fingertips and then rub your fingertips together and then onto your skin. Oh, this feels like interesting. I thought this would be more liquidy, but it's definitely like, oh, see now it like turned to a gel in my hands. It's like a thicker consistency when you put it on and now it's like gel like. So I guess I'm just gonna like press it onto my skin. This is how it says to apply it on the website. So I'm just pressing it into my skin. It feels really nice. It feels um, hydrating upon like application. Because at first I thought it was going to be really drying with how the formula looks since it's like that thicker formula. And it's not like a liquid, but then as soon as I rubbed it in my fingers, it turned to like a gel-like consistency. So it feels nice applying to my skin. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, maybe my skin, it does look nice. Like it looks nice in my skin. It feels nice and hydrating. My skin looks a bit more blurred, I think. But again, like I, to me, it's not a foundation. I get the concept behind it and it's cool and it's interesting. And that's why this product intrigues me just because it's so different than anything I've ever seen. But I feel like they, sh instead of marketing it as a foundation, should have just called it a primer. But if you want something really, really natural for no makeup days, you're not into foundation, you don't like to wear it, then maybe this would be an amazing product for you. You can just put it on your skin. It's not going to give you any sort of tint or anything and just kind of give you kind of a blurred, flawless look, which, you know, is basically what primers do. I don't know. That's kind of my thoughts on this Becca Zero. So what I thought was that it was going to work better as a primer. And yeah, I mean, I would never just like wear this and then do like a full glam like eye look or something, you know what I mean? I mean like it's not a foundation at least in in my eyes but that doesn't mean that it's a bad product um, and it actually said that you could use it on its own or you could use it underneath foundation so I'm like okay so it's a brand but anyways it's a cool product so if you guys are interested in trying it or you want something very very light to blur the skin then you might really like this alrighty moving on to foundation you guys can probably guess what I'm gonna try you guys have probably already seen it in the thumbnail picture but we're gonna be going in with the new Too Faced Born This Way matte 
foundation. So this is brand new. So you guys know if you watch my channel, Too Faced Born This Way, here's the original to show you guys them next to each other. This little baby right here, the original is my holy grail. I love this. It's my favorite foundation for years and years and years. And I've never found something to replace it as like my absolute favorite. Um, but they just recently came out with this. I think it comes out on Friday. So when you guys are seeing this video, it probably has not launched yet. And this is supposed to be a soft matte finish versus more of a natural finish with the regular foundation. And this is supposed to be 24 hours, undetectable, super long wear foundation. So it's supposed to last on your skin for 24 hours. You really shouldn't be wearing your makeup for 24 hours, but if there's a reason that you need to, this is supposed to last that long. It says oil free, oil controlling, waterproof, and transfer resistant. Now with wearing these masks everywhere, transfer resistant is like more important than ever. So I was really excited to see that. So we're gonna test this out because I am a dry skin girl, but I love a good matte foundation as long as it's not a drying matte. Because I think a lot of times people just think matte foundations, if you have dry skin, you can't wear them. And that's not the case at all. And I did read that this is supposed to be a breathable, wearable matte. So it is supposed to still be suitable for dry skin. So we're gonna check that out today. I have shade natural beige because apparently your shade in this foundation should hopefully be the same as what you are in the regular which I use natural beige in the regular born this way so let's test it out I'm gonna start off with we'll do one pump and then I'll probably add one more because I've used two pumps of the normal foundation color is looking pretty good actually looking pretty accurate to the normal natural beige so I like that I'm gonna go in and blend this puppy out I can also definitely do like a full video if you guys want on this, maybe comparing it to the original Born This Way, like doing a full day wear test kind of thing, like review, because um, obviously this is just like a first impressions, but I can definitely do like a full review video comparing and contrasting the both of them and like maybe doing a wear test with both of them. So if you guys want to see that, let me know down below in the comments and I can definitely do that. And then it'll also give me some time to wear this foundation a couple more times and like formulate a full like review instead of just a first impression opinion. So let a girl know, but so far it's looking pretty good. We're looking nice on the coverage. It's covering up all of my redness, blending out easily. And the shade looks pretty spot on as well, which I was a little concerned about that. When you have a different formulation of a product, the color is never going to be exactly the same, um, but this definitely does work for me. I can immediately tell the difference in the finish. This one definitely is more matte. It goes on matte, where the original Born This Way is more of that natural finish, but it does feel like a comfortable matte as of right now. So we will see how it lasts throughout the tutorial. And again, if you guys want a full review, full day wear test comparison with the original Born This Way, I can absolutely do that. So let me know in the comments. But upon initial application, I think it looks pretty good. Nice coverage, blended out easily, and feels comfortable on my skin. So, so far, I am liking it. Okay, now for concealer, I don't have a new one, so I'm just going in with my baby Tarte Shape Tape in shade Light Medium. And just going to conceal out these under eyes real quick before we go in with the rest of the new products. You guys know you can use code Kelly for 15% off of all of Tarte's products, including Shape Tape, if y'all are interested. I get so many DMs from you guys like, thank you so much for the discount code, because a lot of them don't work on Shape Tape, so I got y'all covered. And I'm just gonna go in and blend that right on out. We are looking nice and full coverage today with this concealer and the foundation and the Becca primer, <laughs> or whatever we wanna call it. Our skin is looking flawless. And I would say that I could update you guys like in the description box like I normally do as the makeup lasts, how the like foundation and stuff lasts throughout the day. But at the end of this video, we're actually gonna be taking our makeup off because I wanna try the new um, Catrick Star brand. So he came out with a makeup dissolving, I have it over here, like mist and then makeup remover wipe. So I did wanna test those out. So at the end of this tutorial, I'm gonna be taking the makeup off. So I'm excited to try those out as well. I'm just setting that foundation in place with some powder. Also you guys, I went on a boat this weekend and got burnt. So my chest looks like a bright red. <laughs> so if it looks like my foundation isn't matching perfectly, it is because of my stunning sunburn. And I was even wearing sunscreen, so I don't know what happened. Please wear your sunscreen, you guys, and take SPF really seriously. My face somehow didn't get burnt, but my chest, another story. I don't know what happened there. Alrighty, now for the eyes, I'm really excited. We are gonna be testing out today the Pure X Raw Beauty Christie palette. I love Raw Beauty Christie's videos. I think she's so funny. I just love to watch her videos. She always makes me laugh, and so I was really excited that she came out with a collab with Pure. So. Basically, I love the concept of this. It's a palette, so there's neutrals on this side. If you're a neutral girl like me, you got this side, but then if you flip it to the other side, there are bright colors if you wanna go use some bright pops of color. So I liked that versatility. I thought it was really, really cool. 
how it just kind of goes like that. She came out with two sets of lashes as well, but I do have some lash extensions on today and we're gonna be trying a new mascara. So we're just gonna be testing out the palette, but it looks really beautiful, so I'm really excited. So I'm first going to jump in with the shade Camelot. This is kind of like a mustard yellowy shade, so I'm gonna buff this in my upper crease and crease area, just as a neutral transition. And don't y'all be playing me in the comments saying you always do neutral looks, because in my last video, I did a colorful look where I tested your current makeup favorites. There'll probably be videos in between that video and this video when you guys see it, but I just recently did a colorful look, okay? And these neutrals are just too pretty not to play with. Although I might grab from the other side a couple shades as well, just to mix it up. Jumping on to the other side, I'm gonna grab Am I Orange? That is such a funny name. Pretty sure we've all said that once or twice. I know I have. And I'm going to pop that in the crease. Ooh, this is pretty. She is pigmented. I like tapped off my brush so to get a lot of the excess off because I didn't want it to be like super, super harsh. So there was not a lot of product at all. And it's very pigmented, but it's blending really, really nicely. So I like that. I like shadows that do the work for you. So I don't have to sit here for a hundred years blending because I am not the master at eyeshadow. So when eyeshadows blend easily, that makes me happy. And this is a really pretty shade. I like it a lot. I just realized the colorful side is pretty much all mattes besides there's one shimmer in the middle on the more neutral side. Oh, it's the same thing all mattes, one shimmer in the middle. So it is a mostly matte palette, which I did not mention because I didn't realize it until right this second. <laughs> Jumping back to the neutral side, I'm gonna mix together It Just Does and Told You. So I'm gonna mix these two guys together and bring that into the crease to deepen it up. So this adds like a pinkish kind of brown, like a terracotta almost, and deepens up that crease. I'm gonna buff the same thing on the other eye. I said it before, but I feel like it warrants saying it again that these mattes are very, very pigmented. Because y'all know sometimes mattes can be chalky where these really aren't. So I do really, really like that and appreciate that. In my outer corner, I'm gonna jump into copper boxes and I'm gonna just buff that in this outer corner area like so just to deepen it up and give us some depth on our outer corners. Then I'm gonna go in with Golden Ticket all over the lid. And I'm gonna just pack this. Ooh, this looks very, very pretty. I did spritz a little Fix Plus on my brush just to really amplify the color out, but it looks beautiful. I forgot that I can actually use my finger because I have my little, my little nub nails. Ooh, yes, oh my goodness, wow. Okay, using the finger really amps it up. I have short little nails today so I can use the finger to do that. Wow, that's beautiful. Dang, I love that. Ooh, absolutely stunning. This is like my new favorite all over the lid shade. It's so, so pretty. It's like a champagne gold, not too light, not too dark. Like it's just really, really beautiful. Now to highlight, I'm gonna jump into the other side and go in with Cafe Disco. So this one is more of like a iridescent -y shade. So I'm gonna use this in my inner corner and beneath the brow to really just make that area pop. There is a matte white too on the colorful side if you're more of like a matte highlight type of gal. You can use that, but I am more of a shimmer highlight gal. Ooh, look at that, so pretty, wow. And then on the lower lash line, I'm gonna mix together again, It Just Does and Told You, and just buff that on my lower lash line. Those two mixed together are such a pretty color. I love that. My voice is like raspy, and I don't know why I'm like, I don't feel sick. <laughs> I just don't know why my voice is raspy. I'm like, what is going on? I feel like this whole thing has made me a like paranoid about getting sick or like feeling like I have symptoms. Like anything out of the ordinary, I'm like, <gasps> even though I know that I'm completely overreacting probably 99.9% .9 of the time. Okay, honestly, this palette was absolutely beautiful. Like I didn't even expect to like it as much as I did. Like these shadows work so, so well. And again, I love that you have those everyday neutrals, but then you do have some pops of color if you wanna go for this or do something a little different or add a pop. So I absolutely love how this eye look came out. Like these shadows worked really, really well. So congrats to Christy and Pure on this, really cool. Alrighty, up next for mascara, we're gonna go in with the new Urban Decay Lash Freak. So I do have lash extensions on right now. I am gonna still apply the mascara to them, but then we'll also apply it to my lower lashes. So we'll be able to get, I think, a better idea on the lower lashes of how it works. Um, so this is brand new, I actually don't think it's launched yet. Oh wow, the wand is kind of cool. 
it's definitely different looking. So it actually looks like this would be really nice for the lower lashes because it's not humongous. And it has that little like ball thing at on the end, which is great for really getting in precisely. So let's go in with this and see. I'm going to read on the website what it says, like what makes this different than their other mascaras. It says it's volumizing and lengthening. So it's supposed to be like an all-in-one. This is going to launch on August 2nd. And it's supposed to lift lashes for a dramatic wide-eyed look. It's smudge proof. It's sweat proof and it lasts up to 20 hours. Again, don't be wearing your mascara for 20 hours, but if for whatever reason you have to, this is supposed to last that long. So I'm gonna just go in on the upper lashes first. I'm gonna be taking these lash extensions off pretty soon, I think, anyways. So I'm just gonna go in on them. This definitely feels like a thicker consistency mascara um because if you see like a lot of my lash extensions just kind of stuck together with this like they got a little clumpy but that could also just be because you know they're obviously not normal lashes so let's try it on my lower lashes and see oh yeah i think this is just kind of a little clumpy which kind of stinks because it sounds really good like in theory hang on let me see. All right, the more you kind of maneuver it, you just have to really wiggle it. Because the way the brush is, it doesn't like distribute the product that evenly, which I think is like the problem. Like, is there something wrong with mine? Because like there's like a ton of product all on this stick and then it's getting like stuck in here. And I think that's what's making it go on clumpy is just because the mascara isn't like there's too much mascara on it. I'm gonna try and like get some of it off. But like you really shouldn't have to do that with like a high-end mascara, you know what I mean? Because normally I like Urban Decay mascaras. Like their Perversion mascara is really good. Um, a lot of Urban Decay products I really like. But this one is a little bit of a hot mess. I don't know if I'm like using it wrong or something or there's something like wrong with my wand. Because yeah, there's like a ton of product on this. It's like all gobbed on in like a couple of areas, which is then making it difficult to distribute the product like evenly so that your lashes don't look clumpy. Cause right now they're looking a little crazy and clumpy, which I don't love. It's not terrible. Cause I mean, it definitely, you got, you can see my lashes now, but they're a little, a little crazy. I'm gonna go in with a little of the Better Than Sex mascara. I'm not gonna really, I'm gonna kind of scrape the products off of this too, just kind of with a, this wand because it's like a fluffier wand and just kind of go over the lashes to try and like break them up a little so they're not all clumped together that worked a little bit okay yeah this is kind of a little bit of a disaster i'll be honest i don't really like this mascara it made the lashes really clumpy like i was thinking at first it was just because i have lash extensions which obviously in the ma isn't the mascara's fault um but even on my lower lashes they're very clumpy i'm gonna go in and just kind of buff underneath them got a little on my eye too so this unfortunately is not my favorite um unless there's something wrong with my wand maybe i just got like a defective one because the actual like mascara itself seems pretty good because it's a thicker mascara I normally like thicker mascaras, but with the way the product gets distributed on at least the one that I have, it's just not even at all and it goes on really clumpy. So that's unfortunate because I like a lot of their products and a lot of their mascaras, but you can't always like everything. So it is what it is. We're going to move on to the face now. I'm going to bronze real quick. I don't have any new bronzers, so I'm just going to go in with this L'Oreal Bronze Please Bronzer. It's one of my favorites and I'm just going to use this to bronze up my skin. Okay, for blush, I'm so excited. This is my first, oh, my fingerprints are all over it, sorry. But this is my first Patrick Ta product. This is his new blush. This is his Double Take Cream and Powder Blush and She's That Girl. So it looks really, really pretty. So I guess up here is a cream blush and then you have a powder blush underneath. So I'm gonna go in with the cream first on the cheeks and then we'll set it with the powder. Very, very, very bougie, like nice packaging how this is. And I'm gonna just, ooh, love that. This is so pretty. Wow, and this doesn't go on sticky at all. Like it almost go, like the cream almost goes on like a powder, which is really nice. It feels very nice on the skin and it layered really nicely, even though I do have powder on my face because some cream blushes can just be a hot mess when you're applying them over a powder where this one is not like that. So that's really, really pretty. Now I'm gonna go in with the powder and just set it on top. Ooh, that really helped to like amp it up a little bit. Wow, this is really pretty. I like this little combo a lot and it brings in that really warm tones that I have on my eyes. So I like that. Very pretty. This is really, really nice. I like this a lot. I've been wanting to try some of his products for a while. Um, okay, next I'm really excited. So this is from Fenty. This is her Glow Skin Stick in the shade Pearl. 
like per like a cap and then there's an L pearl so this looks really really pretty I'm gonna put it on my hand to show you guys it's kind of like a light like skin gloss almost it's right there but it looks beautiful so how I'm gonna apply this is I'm going to apply it actually I'm gonna do two fingers kind of put it on my fingers like so and tap it on the cheeks it's very subtle it's not like this crazy kind of thing because again this reminds me more of like a gloss like a face gloss than like a um highlighter on its own so it's definitely more natural maybe you could wear this with the becca little zero foundation if you want to be super super natural although i think they actually had a skin gloss in this line too um, but this one from Fenty is really, really pretty. But it's still wearable with a full glam look like I have on right now. Like, you can still see that I have highlight on. It's just not as blinding as the highlights that I normally wear. But it gives a really pretty glow to the skin. So I do really, really like that. Now, you guys know me. I got a glow. So I am going to go over and set that with her new Diamond Bomb All Over Diamond Veil in the shade Cognac Candy. So this is a new shade in this. I believe before they only had one shade. And this looks so pretty. I swatched it before and was like, oh. Oh my goodness. This might be a little dark as a highlight on me. I'm not really sure, but then I was reading the reviews and there were people with light to medium skin, blonde hair that said that it worked for them. So I'm gonna try it out as a highlight and if not, I could definitely use this as an eyeshadow or like a bronzer topper if I wanted to do that, but I'm gonna try it out as a highlight right over and see. Ooh, see, yeah, I actually don't think it's too dark. That's really really pretty and applies over this matchstick really really nicely just to kind of set it down i love that and then it amps it up and gives us a little bit more glow very very pretty and i think if you have more like medium to deeper skin this would be the most beautiful beautiful highlight for my skin the lighter shade is probably a little bit better but i wanted to try the new shade because this one is new the other one's been around for a while and this is really really pretty okay now for our lips i'm going to go in and line them real quick i'm just using the house labs lip liner this one is in the shade End Point. Because so we're going to go in with a new lipstick and new lip gloss. And for our lipstick, Miss Rihanna came out with something else new. So these are the Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick. I'm like, oh my god, that writing is so small. I'm like, <laughs> the doctor said my eyes like 2020, but I'm like, I cannot read this. I think it's just really tiny. Um, but the shade on this is glazed. So these are supposed to be like shiny lipsticks. So I'm going to go in. Ooh, yes. Oh my gosh. Love. I've been liking more like sheer kind of lips recently. And this is so, so pretty. Dang, we have a new gloss to try, but we don't even need gloss with this. This is beautiful. Ooh, it smells like watermelon i love that this shade is so so pretty they have a bunch of different shades this one kind of jumped out the one that i wanted to try just i feel like we have a lot going on with our eyes today and it looks beautiful and this feels so nice on the lips too Ooh, i really really like this okay now even though we don't really need a gloss because we already have a lot of glossiness on our lips um i do want to try out this new gloss that came out from Lorac. these are their diamond lip glosses they look so pretty i have like a hair attached to them sorry about that this gold one i feel like would look really pretty and would tie in kind of the gold on the eye so i want to try this this is in the shade sun drenched a little doe foot just apply that right on top Ooh, for some extra glossiness this has like gold glitter in it super super pretty i feel like my lips, I'm getting, the, they're like sticking together now because I have so much glossiness. Oh, hang on. Maybe don't layer lip gloss with those. If you ever get that little tip, stick your finger in your mouth. With the virus going around, this is probably not a good thing. Don't do this in public. Only at home after you wash your hands. But you can just go like this. And it'll help to remove most of the stuff like that in between that's causing that. So now we're like pretty good. We're not getting that like stickiness in between. But I feel like you probably don't need a lip gloss with the shiny lipsticks from Fenty because they're already really shiny. But those lip glosses are really pretty too. But probably best paired with like a more matte type lipstick. All right, now we are done with the makeup. We are not done just yet because I want to try out these new Patrick Star products. So this is his new brand One Size. And he came out with a go off makeup dissolving mist. So this definitely got my attention because it's a little different. So I was like, hmm, what is that? So I want to test that. And then he also came off with the go off juiciest makeup remover wipes the packaging like this package looks really big like here's another little thing of makeup remover wipes I have so obviously this one is much much bigger so I'm really excited about that if they're as big as the packaging makes them seem that's awesome because sometimes I mean I wear a lot of makeup so sometimes I have to use two makeup remover wipes if they're not big enough so I want to try the mist first and then I guess we'll use the wipe to to wipe it off I don't normally like end my tutorials by taking my makeup off. I normally like to like, you know, wear it for a little bit, but I'm gonna just get my hair all back. 
I'm gonna just use this little one size uh, little headband to get my hair out of the way. Definitely looking a little crazy. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this on camera, but it's fine. Wow, I guess I have a big head. There's like a lot of Velcro left over. Anyways, okay. So it says, spray 8 to 10 inches away from face until evenly coated, massage into skin, and gently wipe off. So I'm going to spray this, and then I'll wipe it off with one of these makeup wipes. So let's open up the makeup wipes so we can see them before we use that. It's just like your typical little opening thing. And there is the wipe. Wow, okay, yeah, so this is a bit bigger than your normal wipe. Definitely a good size, has a nice light scent. Nothing like overwhelming, so I like that. And there are, how many wipes in this? 21 wipes in this pack. So you know, before we go with the spray, I am gonna just take off this lip gloss, because I normally always take off my lip first when I'm taking my makeup off. I'm kind of sad I'm taking this makeup off already. I like the way it looks. And we're gonna go in with the spray. It doesn't say to shake it, does it? No, so I'm just gonna go in. I'm like scared, I'm gonna put my hair like completely back behind me just so it doesn't go all over my hair because I don't know how the spray is gonna be. All right, <laughs> now I'm looking really crazy, but it's okay. Let's go. Wow, okay, first thought is that this is the lightest mist I've ever used. Wow, I literally thought when I opened my eyes there's gonna be nothing on my face. This is incredible, you do not feel this. Like I literally felt like nothing was hitting my skin. Wow. Okay, somebody needs to like pay him to like use this sprayer for like a setting spray or Patrick come out with a setting spray with the same exact bottle because this is the lightest mist that I've ever used. Love that. Literally feels like nothing. Okay, wait, so what does it say now? Massage into skin. So I'm going to massage it into the skin and then I'll use the wipe to wipe it off. It doesn't feel overly oily either. It has just like a light kind of slippery feel to it and my foundation and stuff is coming right off on my fingers. I'm actually pretty impressed with this so far. The eye area, you wanna be light here. Wow, but yeah, it took off like most of that eyeshadow already and I didn't even go in with a wipe first. Cause I always double cleanse, so I always go in with an oil-based kind of like makeup remover first and then I go in with a makeup removing wipe to take it all off and then I go in with like my normal, you know, cleanser and skincare products and all that. So this is like exactly basically what I already do. Now I'm just gonna go in with the wipe, as you can see. Makeup coming off. And don't be alarmed if my skin looks really red. It always does when I first take my makeup off. Whenever I touch my skin, it gets really red and then it calms down in a couple minutes. But yeah, my skin always looks very red when I take my makeup off initially. So don't be alarmed. Wow, but this is actually like taking the makeup off really, really well, really easily. Love that the makeup wipe is so big. These are actually really, really nice. I'm gonna go in on that. Lower mascara, which it's removing that really easily too. I'm just being very gentle, as always, with my under eye area. Now obviously after you use these products, you are going to want to go in with your normal cleanser, which I will do, because these are makeup removing products, but you still want to go in with a cleanser to fully cleanse the skin. Um, and that's not with just these, it's with any makeup remover that you're using. But this is very nice. It made it quite easy to remove all that makeup. And that mister is absolutely amazing. So that is just about it, you guys. I'm gonna go finish off my skincare by cleansing and all that stuff. But I actually do really like, ooh, my hair is crazy. <laughs> These new one size products, especially this go off makeup dissolving mist. I feel like I will definitely, definitely use this. So I'm not used to any of my videos like this, but thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.